Hello everyone. I am Meera R. Nair and currently I am working as a Salesforce architect at UST Trivandrum, India. I have a total of 15 years of IT experience in which 13 has been on the Salesforce ecosystem itself. My IT career got started in 2006 when I joined as a fresher at UST. After working in Java for almost one year, I got an opportunity to get trained in Salesforce. That was the first time I was hearing about Salesforce and even during my Salesforce training period, I still wanted to go back to Java itself because I was not confident about building my IT career in a CRM product. But there was no look back after that and I am really glad about the fact that I got that opportunity to change or shift my platform to Salesforce. My Salesforce community journey got started very unexpectedly. In 2018, I attended my first Dreamforce and I really got inspired by all knowledge sharing happening there. And I thought it will be good for me also to share my knowledge, but I was not sure how to get started. Later in 2020, I saw a call for speakers as part of virtual dreaming event during the start of lockdown period. I submitted two topics and one of them got selected. I am really thankful to Amit Chaudhary, Rakesh Gupta and Jidendra Chha for coming up with such a wonderful initiative and giving me an opportunity. So the session topic was Salesforce solution design and performance considerations. And after that, I got many opportunities to conduct that session as part of multiple events and multiple user groups. I think the most detailed session was as part of Apex Hours and I took multiple sessions as part of Apex Hours after that. Some of them are exception handling for flows and Apex using platform events, Salesforce integration using webhooks, integration using Salesforce Connect, its advantages and limitations. And recently we concluded a service cloud training series also as part of Apex Hours. Along with that, I participated in multiple Dreamin events also. Cactus Force in 2021 and 2022, Consultancy Dreaming, Sea Dreaming and Pakistan Dreaming are some of those. During this time, I also joined as a co-lead of Trivandrum Developer Group. This is our YouTube channel and we are always keen about providing quality contents as part of our group. Starting my journey with Saima was another turning point in my community journey. And I am really thankful to Johan for that opportunity. As part of SEMA, I got opportunity to interact with many community experts and the leadership team of SEMA, which includes Gaurav, Neha and Lilith, are really great at organizing good quality content events. I also started my CTA journey as part of this group only. Along with this, I got a personal blog where I am trying to share all my learnings and knowledge and many times I have received very good feedback from the community on most of the blog content. In addition to receiving Salesforce MVP title in 2021 class, another proud moment was being part of the first episode of DevTalkies, which is a trailblazer talk show from APAC developer relations team. One of my future goal is to support other women professionals in the community because many of them are reaching out to me to get some insight on how to get started their community journey. And because of this, we decided to start with a women speaker series as part of our user groups and we called for submissions this month. We have received very good response from the community and we will be getting started this with this event from this month onwards and we are glad that many of them are first time speakers if you are someone looking to start your career in salesforce ecosystem the only suggestion i have is that salesforce is really vast 
and there are multiple roles available for you to look into. So instead of trying to be an expert in everything, try to understand your interested area and concentrate to expand your knowledge in that area. Thank you so much Shaktivel for this opportunity to share my community journey as part of this Trailblazer talk series. Thank you so much.